In Lambert Eaton Myasthenic Syndrome, myasthenia refers to muscle weakness, and Lambert Eaton refers to Edward Lambert and Lealdes Eaton, the two physicians who first described the condition. Lambert Eaton Myasthenic Syndrome is a rare autoimmune disease that attacks the peripheral nervous system, causing muscle weakness, and actually improves temporarily after repeated use of the muscle. The nervous system is divided into the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which includes all the other nerves that connect the central nervous system to the muscles and organs. The peripheral nervous system can then be further divided into the somatic nervous system, which controls voluntary movement of our skeletal muscles, and the autonomic nervous system, which is even further divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic and controls the involuntary movement of the smooth muscles and the glands of our organs. Now, to better understand Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, let's review normal skeletal muscle contraction at the cellular level. First, you've got your motor neurons, which have voltage-gated calcium channels in their membranes. Whenever a motor neuron receives an electrical impulse from the brain, these channels open up and let calcium inside. The increased intracellular calcium concentration triggers the release of small vesicles that contain the neurotransmitter acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine goes from the neuron over to the nicotinic receptors on muscle cell membranes. When acetylcholine binds to the nicotinic receptors, it leads to muscle contraction. The parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system also has motor neurons that work in the same way. The main difference from the somatic nervous system is that they work on smooth muscle, so the muscle cell membranes have muscarinic receptors for acetylcholine, and they're not called neuromuscular junctions. In Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, there's an autoimmune response against the voltage-gated calcium channels on the motor neurons, mostly affecting the somatic nervous system, but also the parasympathetic part of the autonomic nervous system. More specifically, it's a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, meaning that the body produces antibodies against its own proteins. In this case, B cells inappropriately make antibodies that recognize, bind to, and block voltage-gated calcium channels on the motor neurons, which leaves only a few unbound channels that are available to open and allow calcium in. Unfortunately, when only a few of the channels are working, they can only really generate a low level of calcium within the neuron, and it's insufficient to trigger the release of acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction. When there's no release of acetylcholine, there's no contraction of the attached muscle fiber. However, with repeated stimulation by electrical impulses from the brain, enough calcium might get through the few free calcium channels, resulting in acetylcholine release and muscle contraction. The majority of Lambert-Eaton cases are associated with small cell lung cancer, because the small cell lung cancer cells express the same calcium channels that are found on motor neurons. So, when B cells generate antibodies against the cancer cells, the antibodies can mistakenly attack the voltage-gated calcium cells on the motor neurons. Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome can also be associated with other autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's thyroiditis or diabetes mellitus type 1, although the precise mechanism is still unclear. The main symptom of Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome is symmetrical weakness of the proximal muscles, like those in the shoulders, hips, and thighs, and classically that can lead to difficulties climbing stairs or standing up. There's also usually a reduction in the strength of reflexes. Individuals also experience a warming up phenomenon, which is when weakness is relieved temporarily after repeated use of the muscles. In the advanced stages of the disease, individuals can also develop weakness in the respiratory muscles, and that can cause respiratory failure. Most people with Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome have autonomic symptoms as well, including dry mouth, constipation, blurry vision, urinary problems, and fainting. Diagnosis of Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome can be done by looking for autoantibodies against the voltage-gated calcium channels. Once diagnosis is confirmed, a chest CT scan is often done to look for evidence of an underlying small cell lung cancer. Treatment of Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome depends on the underlying cause. If there's a small cell lung cancer, then treatment of the cancer is the main goal. When there's no associated lung cancer, however, treatment options include immunosuppressant drugs like steroids, pridostigmine, which can be used to increase acetylcholine availability, and intravenous immunoglobulin therapy, which can be used to bind and neutralize the autoantibodies. Occasionally, more severe cases can be treated with plasma exchange, like plasmapheresis, which is when plasma proteins, like antibodies, are removed and replaced with plasma from a healthy donor. Alright, as a quick recap, Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome is a rare autoimmune disease caused by autoantibodies that target the voltage-gated calcium channels on motor neurons. Most cases are associated with small cell lung cancer, the cells of which share the same voltage-gated calcium channels. 
Typically, there's symmetric muscle weakness of the proximal muscles that improves temporarily after use.